Hey guys and welcome back and here we are for another video. Now this video in particular is not a review but a conclusion regarding storage solutions that I did test so far and more recently the StoreJet 500 Thunderbolt solution and before I forget I'll post a link right over here on the YouTube cards with all the tests that I've made on the past so if you are interested in that just check it out and you will have a more in-depth uh, information. Some of the videos just bear in mind that are very long but nonetheless may have some information that is useful. Now that being said I'll post on screen the four quick chapters that we are going to cover here uh, regarding OS X booting from external drives and in particular the Thunderbolt and making some comparisons. So the first chapter will be installation, the second computers and drives used on the test so you have a little bit of background and then boot speed tests and finally is Thunderbolt worth it or not? And we will take, talk more about this storage at 500, which was the latest uh, storage solution that I did test out. And if you haven't checked out the review, I'll post a link right over here. I hope that I don't forget. And that being said, let's start this video. And here we are for the first chapter which is the installation of OS X which is pretty simple and I'm sure that most of you guys know that but I did add a few questions on the past so I will have this I will take this chance to make a video how you can install so my idea is you will have the review of the drives you will have the results of the drive on this video and after that you will have just one video for the installation so if you want to follow one of these uh, one of these uh, ways you will have the three steps what the drive can make or what the drive can do sorry about that um, the results comparing with several drives and finally how to install so if you grab one just follow these three steps and you will have your system running but I will not spend uh, more time on this video talking about this is pretty easy just expect a few days and I will have that video uploaded that being said let's go for the next chapter and here we are for the second chapter as you could see the first one was really quick and hopefully this one will be as well so computers and drives used on the test and as you can see already on the screen one of the computers is the iMac late 2013 base model 21 inch well it's not the base model anymore but it was back then when I did bought it for my wife now there is a lower model than that one uh, and also I will be using the MacBook Pro early 2014 13 inch base model this is the base model but you can check all the specs right over there on the screen so that uh, you have a little bit of background of the machines that I did test out and uh, regarding the drives I will be using the InnoTech uh, with UASP support enclosure and then uh, the drives that I did test out on the past were uh, the Samsung 850 EVO which is the one that I'm be comparing right now uh, 840 EVO I've used uh, Samsung I've used the PNY I've used all sorts of storage um, SSDs so once again it is everything here on the YouTube cards and I will also do a comparison with the latest one which is the StoreJet 500 Thunderbolt or USB 3.0 uh, storage solution. Now that being said we have a little bit of background let's go for the next chapter. And here we are for the third chapter which is speed tests and comparisons and I know that many of you like me love comparisons uh, comparing different storage solutions and the speed that we can get out of them. Now and you are seeing on the screen right now uh, on the left top corner the regular hard drive 5400 rpm and on the top right corner the InnoTech with UASB support USB 3.0 connection on the top left corner the Transcend StarJet 500 with USB 3.0 connection and on the bottom uh, right corner the StarJet 500 on the Thunderbolt connection. Um, so we get 53 seconds on the regular hard drive, we get 27 seconds on the InnoTech with USB, we get 29 seconds on the StarJet 500 with USB, so two more seconds than the InnoTech solution, and finally 21 seconds on the Thunderbolt um, connection of the StoreJet 500. And the conclusion that I take from all these tests right over here is that any drive is much or way better than any regular hard drive or spinning hard drive, especially those 5400 RPM, which takes ages these days. Uh, well, these days, just because we are used to SSDs, that is it. Uh, 10 years ago, I wouldn't uh, uh, 
know the difference because I didn't test it out. But uh, that's the point. Any external solution that we have right over here will be much faster. So in my opinion, it's totally worth it in, uh, and I already mentioned this on the past, totally worth it in investing in external solution to get higher speeds. And as you can see also on screen, on the regular hard drive, uh, the 53 seconds is not the the worst part on my opinion the worst is when you click to open an app it will take ages to open that app and of course take ages comparing to once again an ssd all the other solutions when you open an app it will be instantaneously uh, so this is the conclusion guys here it is the speed test the storage at 500 it is quicker on thunderbolt but on usb comparing with uh, one of these inner tech uh, solutions with any hard drive inside it is two seconds uh, quicker than the um, storage jet 500 but on the thunderbolt it is quick so this will leave us to the last chapter which is is this worth it or not and here we are for the last chapter which is is it worth it or not the thunderbolt solution and on this particular case the storage jet 500 which is the only solution uh, with the thunderbolt connection that i've tested so far here on the channel now i already had yesterday two questions and i would like to appreciate them one from paul and one from maury and hopefully i'm pronouncing the names correctly thanks for your uh, feedback right over there and the questions as well but i'm honestly going to give my uh, feedback on video just instead of writing which is the way that i prefer to do things as you guys know and um, let's go right to the point is it worth it or not and i'm going to give you two points why it's not worth it and i'm going to give you five points why it is worth it and if you think that i'm being fair or unfair just let me know down below in the comment section and i do my best to make comparisons testing out and give you the honest feedback to that side of the screen as always but uh, sometimes we do fail or we do miss things and you guys on that side of the screen always help with that but that being said let's go for the point so the two uh, things that i would say this is not worth it against an usb uh, drive first is the the, the price um, that is obvious so i'm not gonna even mention it again the price point is totally different but uh, if you are looking for something just for storage this will be more than enough as you could see on the test speed test and so on everything once again it's available here on the youtube card so you can check that out um, also if you are looking for a solution to boot os 10 only uh, on external solution this is cheaper than going for the store jet 500 so these are the two major uh, points that i would say it's not worth it to to get a thunderbolt solution against a uh, usb 3.0 solution with an ssd inside storage and if you go for storage i, can, I have one here uh, you can even go for one of these which is really slow but just for storage uh, 5400 rpm inside with the usb 3.0 uh, connection and you will be fine even more cheap uh, even cheaper sorry about that uh, this is about 60 euros for one terabyte uh, and I'm sure that the prices are getting lower and lower so that's my opinion uh, so these are the two main reasons that I see why you could, would go for USB instead of the Thunderbolt uh, connection now let's go for the other side which is why it is worth it so I'm gonna give you five the first three are not uh, major and I will start with the build quality this it's really it depends uh, my wife's iMac for example it has the inner tech solution plasticky but it's hidden behind her iMac so she doesn't she, she doesn't even know that she has an SSD over there um, so this depends but on the other hand if you want something with quality this is by far uh, there's no comparison this is a brushed aluminium enclosure uh, it's totally different from a plasticky thing so in a tech sorry right over here but <laughs> this is completely different now there are other solutions uh, from in which are more expensive with uh, metallic enclosures but this one here um, so totally different if you value quality uh, build, build quality sorry you will have to choose this so this is one of the points for this store jet the other point is boot os 10 will be faster or os 10 booting time <coughs> sorry will be faster uh, it's marginally about six seconds i can't recall right now but just go uh, back on a video and you will see the difference between thunderbolt and usb and even on the same uh, drive but nonetheless it is faster so this is another point as i said the first three are not 
that major. The third one is Trim Support. The Thunderbolt solution is the only one that can give us, um, right now at least, Trim Support. And if you uh, care about Trim, then Thunderbolt will be the way to go, unlike the uh, USB 3.0. Now, for the past year, and I'm going to say this again, my wife is running this one on her iMac and uh, no problems on speed. Sometimes I get questions, hey Robert, how is your drive handling after all this time? No problems whatsoever. It looks like uh, it was on the first day. So trim support, once again, it is uh, not that huge of an impact. I know that some of you guys are concerned about that and it is a question all over uh, about trim, trim, trim. Is it important? Is it not? After one year, still working. Next year, I don't know how it is, but <laughs> so far working great without trim support. Now, let's go for the two um, things that I do consider the most important to get these Torjet 500s, um, unlike the USB. One is capable of installing Windows 8 or 10, which I will talk more on the next video that I will make, very similar to this, but just talking about Windows. And this um, is the best solution if you want to run Windows 8 or 10 on an external SSD. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that you get a iMac with a internal SSD, 256 gigs uh, inside, and you just want to run OS X there. And then you want a solution, external solution, cheaper than what Apple is giving us at this moment to upgrade from 256 to 512, and you want to run Windows, then this is definitely, definitely sorry, the solution for that, because it will run Windows without any problems whatsoever. And I will make the video how to install, as I, as I mentioned on previous videos, uh, Windows right over here. So this is something that on USB you can't do. You can install but it will not run and I will explain better that, <laughs> that better on another video. And lastly, let's say that you have an iMac with an internal uh, hard drive and you want to run externally OS X plus Windows 8 or Windows 10. Then this drive will be capable of doing that. I did already uh, test it out and hopefully I can show you the screen uh, right over there. You will have uh, Windows and OS X on the same drive without any problems whatsoever and this is only achievable on Thunderbolt. So these are the five reasons that I would get a Thunderbolt solution as the Storjet 500 unlike the USB. And by the way, once again, I would like to mention that for all the storage solutions on Thunderbolt that I searched around, the Storjet 500 is the cheapest one. Just go browse yourself and you can, uh, if I don't forget to post the links down below, you can check out the links down below and search around and you will see that at the moment of the, <laughs> the recording, of course, it is the cheapest solution. So it's not uh, bad at all, especially if you're considering Windows externally, it's not bad. It is actually great. So that being said, guys, this is my conclusion why it is worth it or not. And as I mentioned, there is points that you can um, get the USB 3.0 enclosures and get a lower price and the same performance or if you value the five points which I just mentioned and I will not repeat myself again, then the uh, Storjet 500 will be the best choice. And this is it. <clears throat> Sorry, once again, guys, uh, if you feel that I did miss something, just write down below in the comment section. As always, I'm here to reply to you every night almost at the same time and that will be it. So hope that this video is helpful in some way. I'm going to record now one with Windows, so just check out that on the uh, on the channel if I forget to leave the link right over here. Sometimes that happens and that is it. Once again, hope that it was helpful in some way. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.